Okay. All right, so let's talk about some weather, all right? Uh, what entices me is the forecast for the next 36 hours. Yeah, this afternoon is going to be awesome, and uh, tomorrow is going to be great, too. So a couple of really, really nice days, and then we're going to get a little active middle part of the week here. Let's show you the temperature tracker, mid-60s now. As the clouds thin out, we're going to get this sunshine here later today. Uh, we're peaking out in the low 70s, so a really nice finish, and we're dialing in a great one for tomorrow. Carmel 64, Cicero 62. You can see a lot of spots still have that cloud deck that's hanging tough here, but watch on Future Track 13 as we'll stop the clock here at 5 p.m. So when the kids are getting home, especially Indian points to the north, it's going to be a rather bright sky. Clouds may linger longer downstate, along with the chance of a stray shower or rumble of thunder, but really the evening just looks fantastic. If you want to get out and if you're doing some barbecuing here or if the kids are hitting the practice field, here's what you can expect. Low 70s. Even at 6, 7 p.m. and even at 8, 9 o'clock, we're still in the middle and upper 60s, so very comfortable. Starting out tomorrow near 50, a cooler start and a pleasant finish with sunshine and 65 to near 70 on the high temperature forecast for tomorrow, which will circle as our best day of the week. Middle part of the week, there's going to be another storm system that will be intensifying to our west-northwest, likely lays down a heavy swath of snow, foot or more in some locations from the Dakotas into Minnesota and parts of Wisconsin. We're not going to deal with that mess. We're going to deal with the wind. And to get to the warmer side of this system, we'll have to go through a little band of showers that appears on uh, Wednesday, which is going to be a breezy day. The wind is from a warmer direction on Thursday, and we may be in the mid-upper 70s. And then what will happen here, we'll be monitoring a potentially severe line of thunderstorms Thursday evening into pre-dawn Friday, and we'll have to watch that closely. I suspect that uh, we'll start to see uh, potential, at least, for some severe wind with this. We'll go from near 80 on Thursday into the 50s for highs on Friday. That rapid transition gives us the possibility of severe thunderstorms during that time frame. So check back uh, definitely for the forecast updates on this. Uh, could have some impacts depending on the timing of the front. If you're heading to Victory Field for opening, the home opener, uh, Indians, on Thursday. Some morning storms on Friday, very windy. Looking ahead to the weekend, Saturday, just like this past weekend, looks like the better of the two days as we'll up the odds for some rain and unseasonably cold air there in the upper 40s for the second half of the, the weekend there.